What's up, everybody? I'm going to do uh, episode 17, and uh, we just actually finished the recording of part one to the episode that we're about to talk about. So this is basically a part two, and this is going on my channel. But I've got my cousin in the house. What's up? My boy Henry now in the house. What's up? And my boy Mario in the house. What's going on? Uh, I want to first of all thank Mario for coming by, man. I don't get to see that boy so many times because... The boy's always busy on his thing, man, but uh, episode 17, man, I want to talk about uh, having your own business, your hustle on the side, you know. I believe that all of us in general have a talent. Mm -hmm. For those of you that haven't discovered it, you have to discover it, man, because I feel that that takes you farther in life than a paycheck to paycheck job. That's just my opinion. But, uh, you know, as you, uh, all of you that know me, I started doing designs for my uh, personal use and I used to put it on shirts and hoodies and stuff like that. But uh, as far as doing that, I say you guys always create your own name that is not you. You can put it on LLC and corporation. You can do uh, doing DBAs, meaning doing business as and then your company name look out for your logos man I, I feel like everybody deserves to start with the personal logos and go from there but as far as uh, logos go i want to let you guys know that i want to go into creating logos not just working page to page do logos for people because there's always business to go around no matter what uh no matter what uh what you specialize in in life so uh, let me start with you, Henry, since you're new in the house, man. Uh, have you thought about doing a side hustle or a side business, man? To be honest, yeah, I have. Um, to piggyback about what you said, clothes is where I want to go. You know, I feel like designing is easy. I mean, you just have to be creative with yeah. mind. Just, but it is hard work because anybody could just make any little bit of a shirt, sure, but it's about the sales and the profit. Mm -hmm. Because the more sales and the profit, the more revenue and demand. Yeah. So you just gotta know what you're doing, man. And I feel like, you know, from what you said, it, we're all meant to be kings. You know what I mean? We're all meant to be bosses. We all have a little boss, and it's just up to you to bring it out. Yeah. Because if not, you're always gonna be a nine to five guy. Yeah. And um, yeah, man, trust me. I do not want to live paycheck. I mean, who yeah. does? You know, yeah, that's, no, that's no. No so um, yeah, man. Uh, that's what I want to do. But you know. You have to find what's your passion and then put that on a shirt. And of course, even though I'm not a weed smoker anymore, I love weed, I know about weed. I have a friend who knows about weed. And, um, and um, yeah, man, I, I, I was just gonna say like, yeah, man, so, I'm sorry about that. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I was gonna say like, um, my business partner, which I'm trying to get in business with, he already has the supply and the wholesale, so that's already a good start. So all we got to do now is probably hit you up for design and see where it goes from there and just get, yeah, you know, yeah. get some clientele. I've, so I've right. always been down to support any of my buddies, man, my yeah. cousin, of course, anybody. I love to help people out, man. So logos, as, as far as for me, I love it in general, man. So to help yeah. you out, helps me out just to know that I can get referred to anybody and say, he'll no, take care of you. No, and then, of course, you know, the more we sell, you yeah. know, since you're helping us yeah. out, we're not going to leave you in the dark. Yeah. We're going to give you some yeah, he'll be like, man, fuck you, man. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and, but I'm talking about just the logo hey, perspective. Man, that boy crazy. <laughs> uh, the logo point of view. The logo point of view is like, hey, uh, he'll, he'll take care of you, man. So oh, yeah, yeah. That's what yeah. I do. Uh, by the way, guys, I didn't say because I don't remember. This is the part two to the episode that Mario was talking about on his channel. He will post a link on part one, so if you guys definitely want to check it out, I recommend you do. Um, this is, by the way, my first episode on video for my channel, man, so. This is your first one? Yeah, for those of you that don't oh, know me yeah. personally on, on, on camera, whatever, man, this is what it is, man. But let me let me jump, jump ship to that boy Mario, man. How has the experience been helping you out as of late, Mario? Like uh, something that you never really thought about, man, before you jumped on it, or how do you feel about it, man? Like the whole experience of yeah. trying to pursue yeah. opening my own business. Yeah. Um, it's a big learning, you know, uh, curve where I gotta research a lot of stuff and yeah. 
try to find out all kinds of stuff you know that yeah. i might um want to take the, the business uh, and i gotta figure out what direction i want to you know uh, take it in like who do i want to cater to who are my customers gonna be your target yeah, yeah. and uh what what kind of prices are are good yeah. you know to also. where it's to where it's like fair and uh, balance and you gotta think about taxes and all that yeah. stuff and yeah. because you get you can uh one thing you're gonna learn really quick is you gotta pay the irs um the government's always in your pocket yeah because oh. uh, if, if you don't pay them uh, you're gonna end up with a uh, with them knocking on your fine. door yeah <laughs> and, uh, my money at. yeah but uh, in general it, i've loved the experience it's been uh great to me uh, i feel like it's uh it's great when you can be like your own boss you don't you have to make your own hours you don't mm-hmm. have to talk to nobody in management yeah. or yeah. push your ideas to somebody else yeah. you make all the decisions they come to you they yeah. come to you, you know? and you, you uh, call all the shots you decide yeah. inventory you decide uh the schedule yeah. you want to work on your hours yeah. You don't have to go somewhere and be like uh, nine to five, nine, nine to five. five. Let me get this day off, please. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and schedule all that, nah, man. I um, look forward to this being something that I can um, blow up, yeah, mm-hmm. and yeah, and eventually uh, just you know have some more free time, freedom, you know? freedom, freedom. Yeah. Have some time to just chill with you know, chill yourself, boys, family, yeah. 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 have <laughs> some more time for the podcast. Yeah and to pursue other things because yeah. this is not the only thing i want to pursue there's uh, other types of ideas that i have that i want to go after oh, yeah. and, but doing this is going to open up more doors for yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. you're gonna see all kinds of relationships that you build with other people yeah. because of this and that's uh, something that you got to keep in mind no yeah. uh, a lot of small business owners they start out small you know and but through doing business with so many different types of people Uh, you get in, you build all these different relationships, and yeah. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, look at Matches Mac. Yeah, he cool. started off small, and now look at him. How many, how many furniture stores he got? And he does yeah. a lot for the he, city. He does, yeah. Too. He does, yeah. But, but just to jump off of that, Mario, you, you're 100% on the man. To those of you that want to start your own business, uh, it's not about having money. You don't need money to start slow. You can start off by recording video from your phone, man. There's people that do FaceTime. All you need is something to lean your phone to. And you do, you, you just speak out loud to the phone, man. And you, you start your first episode. And you go from there. You don't have to have money. I invested a few money just on this podcast thing. But you don't need the best of the best. Mm-hmm. In order to get recognized, there's so many people out there that have way more experience, more confidence in themselves. To get in front of the camera so as long as you have your phone the way the phones are made now man you don't even need all of that man so i'm just trying to let you guys know man that you don't need money to jump off of your own equipment man mm-hmm. so, but i would also like to add that don't think you're gonna make a billion bucks right away no it's uh, hard to be a, a boss process. i ain't gonna lie you might you might take some losses before you take some wins but don't let that discourage you and make you give up it's all about sticking to the grind to the goal because yeah. Again, <clears throat> starting off, you might get discouraged and be like, man, I'm not making money on this shit. Like, you know, let me just stop this. But how many people have felt like that and then kept with the grind? And now yeah. look at him. Like, for example, Mattress Mac, who, how do we know maybe when he started the little store, he probably was in, in bankrupt or something. Yeah. But yeah. now, now look at him. He's, in yeah. my opinion, he should be the mayor of the city. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that guy yeah. helps more than a lot of people. So More than uh, the government officials. <laughs> our yeah. point is this, man, like, It's not going to be an easy road being your own boss. And actually, yeah, you know, you call the shots, you make your schedules, but it comes with a lot of more responsibilities because now yeah. you're the one on the phone talking to the connect. So you got to mm-hmm. know what to say, how to persuade them. So it just comes with a lot of stuff. But as long as you got your mind and your heart in it, it should be all right. I, yeah. That's like yeah. they say, man, to be the boss, you got to pay to be the boss. You, know? you got to pay the cost to be yeah. the boss. Yeah. 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 And uh, that's really what it is. But don't let that discourage you. I said, does it say... I heard this from somebody, it's not the direct words, but it was something like, you never know how to win if you don't know how to lose. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You have to learn to lose in order to get, it's a process to make the, 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 the client to make the win. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So 
What about you? Cause I know that you you had some figurines and you had a little shop in the past, man. Yeah. You, you yeah. Had your own thing, man. Yeah. Um, you think about getting back into that, no? Yeah, I had it for about a couple of years. Um, I was like I was telling everybody in the uh, part one. Uh, I had, you know, I had wrestling stuff, WWF stuff. I had movie poster. I had movies. I had um, collectible toys and stuff like that. I always had a different, uh, different stuff, different. Uh, you know what, man? Uh, a few months ago, uh, well, I went to uh, Austin, Texas, with mm-hmm. Jack and the family, and we went to a place uh, that was like a museum. Okay. So when we went in there, we thought like a museum, like uh, you know, see history stuff like that. Mm-hmm. You know what we saw in there, man? We saw figurines, Power Rangers, yeah, turtles. I mean, <laughs> it was so everything that reminded me of you, man. Yeah. Like, <laughs> man, if I was in here, he'd probably break into the windows and all this. Yeah, yeah, but it probably honestly, that, I was gonna tell you. About so Ralph's. what I would think, man, like yeah. no bullshit, man. I would think about why don't you invest in. Video games and arcade, man. Mm-hmm. Make a trailer and ha- just rent it out, man, for a weekend, man. Yeah. 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 See, you know that's a little busy, man. Yeah. Pe- people mm-hmm. love video games. People love going to the bars because mm-hmm. no bars have video games and arcades in yeah. there, man. Yeah. That's business, man. Yep. It's like, oh, yeah. That's something that you can never fail. You yeah. can never lose with that, man. It's fun. And you know, you're on the. <laughs> You know, is, I know that is, Rob is. lives on a busy road, man. Mm-hmm. Oh, if yeah. he just oh, puts yeah. a sign out there, man, you know how many people would stop there, man? Because yeah. I just I lay what I did, man. I just... Yeah, it, I had, it was fun, man. man. It was fun, but I'm trying to uh, really get back to it. Yeah. And actually get some more... Um, some more inventory um, You know Like I said You gotta pay To get that inventory I know a couple people Who They, they go through a um, I guess a toy Toy company And yeah. they get their product From there Yeah Like they spend A whole bunch of money Wholesale Yeah They spend a whole bunch of money To get that item And then they bring it back And then they set it For their price To make sure they get their money But nice. It's something I'm, I, I like enjoying Like Well from What I was gonna say mm-hmm. You might have Figurines that mm-hmm. Other big toy collectors Want so yeah. you can do a trade in demand and make that a business too where if he wants this you could be like well if he want it so bad this yeah. is the price i'll give it to you yeah. and then he might have a figurine you really like and that should be a trade or if you just want the money do that yeah and, and yeah. low key you could become that as well like you become a trade in demand guy mm-hmm. but like what javi said too have also like a good little place where people who love anime and love all the stuff you have mm-hmm. they can go and eat a slice of pizza and see that yeah. and like a good example i don't know if you guys been luigi's in a in uh, Midtown, that's a good. When you walk in there, you see the they knows gauntlet. You see the <laughs> really? comics on yeah, there. That's and I ain't gonna lie. My opinion, the pics is overpriced. But like what I'm trying to say though, is still <laughs> people go, they eat, and you enjoy the scenery. You see comics, like you see, experience. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. talking that about you, that, uh, I went to Deerbrook Mall the other day. Well, a few times actually. And I know there's a place you know because. Mm. There's a place in there that all they do is play video games in there. I've seen a lot of TV people sitting down playing video games, man. I don't know what it's called, but there's a little bit more and number. And I was like, what? That's all. So I, this just popped in my head. What if he builds a trailer, gets two, three arcades, some Xbox systems like me, and just just rent it out, man, for yeah. a whole weekend, man. That's money right there, yeah. man. Yep. I've seen Watch that, movies. Actually. Yeah, yeah. a shitload yeah. of Blu-ray movies. I, I've yeah. seen where trailers, they, they get rented out by people, and they put, like, a... Consoles, yeah. consoles in there mm-hmm. and they're in it out to parties and stuff yeah they go yeah, oh, yeah. there's people yeah. that drive to money. yeah they drive to your party and yeah. you got all these kids up in there playing the game this and that man yeah, you never show. lose man you're yeah. easily yeah. looking at 50k you lose, in the year yeah. and that's starting yeah. you know that just started yeah yeah as the years go man you're gonna sh- Mm-hmm. Get referrals and yeah, you can buy and more. see like that. If you're smart with your money, one trailer becomes two trailers. Two trailers become three. Yeah. Like you get yeah. what I'm saying? You keep expanding. Yeah. Don't just get like, money. And like fall my dad, out. like my dad, he built trailers. You know, he builds. Yeah. <laughs> he, he builds tiny houses. He builds he tiny houses. He builds food trucks. He builds, uh, you know, all sorts of little shit. Wouldn't it feel and nice instead of paying someone for that? You could pay your dad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pay your yeah. pops yeah. because you trust him. That's your yeah. dad. Yeah. He, he, he can't fuck you over. Yeah. You know? Because at the end of the day, it's all about trust. Mm-hmm. When it comes about partners, you got to trust. Mm-hmm. 
the boy Mario is going yeah, like, into man, business with a wife. Idea. That's trust. Like, yeah, you yeah, can yeah. never fail with that, yeah. man. So, yeah. yeah, you got a point, man. You got to trust. But so are you are you trying to go back into the shirt design? Are you gonna start making your own shirts I, again? I wanna, or? I wanna, I wanna go with the uh, logo creation, man. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I okay. feel, like, I feel like I can never lose. You've done it before. With logo creation, because people have said. This and that. Hey, man, you're good, man. How come you don't when you don't continue to do this? But it's not that I'm, I'm, I'm I don't have no motivation for it because I love designing. Mm. It's just the demand. Mm. You gotta look for the demand. Hit the right target, man. Yeah. Put myself out there. You can't yep. just expect it to come to me. I gotta market myself. I gotta advertise myself, man. Mm-hmm. If I don't do that, then people are never gonna look for exactly. me, man. But yeah. if I look, but I, but I do it. And I can make business cards out of it, mm. and then make it digital. I put, I make my own Instagram, and you gotta take action. Do that, mm. but yeah. it's all about work. You can't just expect it to come to you. You yeah. gotta do for you, it. You gotta, you gotta put in. Yeah, mm-hmm. you gotta put in. You never, you never know if you never put in, man. So yeah. Mm-hmm. You ever, uh, you ever thought about uh, going and signing up on uh, that website Fiverr? Where yeah, you know what, Mario? Website. I thought about it, man. What is that? I heard of that. Never what is that? Fiverr is a website where you go and create a, your own. It's like your own ad for people to come to you, okay, to hire you to do all kinds of stuff like video editing, logos, mm-hmm. uh, voiceovers for oh, that's programs. Dope. That's mm-hmm. dope. The people go to that Good. website, and it's a very known website. Yeah. So mm-hmm. you got hundreds of thousands of people going there to look to hire people like Hobby to do their work like their logos and all that stuff i mentioned yeah so do you, is yeah. that something you think you, know, you would do or I, I need to start somewhere mario when i said you gotta start slow i need to get create an account and let me let me get my first customer and go mm-hmm. off of his review his or her review and I, i'll go from there if yeah. i get some good uh, feedback mm-hmm. oh you know of course i might have some big motivation i might <laughs> I, I might not need a second job no more man yeah so, yeah 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 you yeah, gotta do it man you yeah. might not get a job no more yeah, yeah. So, Real talk. You know, uh, my brother has a friend um he does a video he does video for weddings that's what that's his full-time job that's that's oh, what yeah. he does. He don't work anymore. That's money, right? He there. just bought a house. And it's money. Yeah, he, he don't work. Yeah. He don't have a nine to five anymore. Bro, there's money out there. You, you yeah, just got to put your he, name he, on he, it. He, yeah. And you know what? I'm gonna say this. After hearing all y'all trades, I just like while we're talking, I thought of something. I'm <laughs> like, once we get all this going, like all of us, yeah, we can even have like a little festival, every annual festival oh. where we all have our own stands there, and people mm-hmm. could come little and we could pass yeah, business little, cards. Like for example, booths, yeah. he could be yeah. there selling the logos. You could be over there letting people know, hey man, I got a trailer you want to rent to watch the movies. <laughs> yeah. and that. You could be there selling your chamoy candy. I could be over there with the shirts. And, uh, oh, and honestly, I can even tell my brother while we're doing that, cook some of his badass ribs, have some good food selling plates. <laughs> Look, man, there's <laughs> money out plates. there. We yeah. just got to put our name yeah. on it, man. Yeah. There's yeah. money out there. We just got to yeah. put our I name bet, on it. I bet you anything. Mm. All you do, I have to do it. Is even buy one of his dad trailers. That's good. <laughs> Post up at somebody's corner where it's busy on the weekends or whatever. It is. Yeah, man, you made some money. Man. Yeah, Go there's a trailer it. actually down the street. My dad didn't build it, but um, it's a uh, a barbecue trader mm. oh, okay. and it's literally down the street from my house and mm. they be they have a little business they have little lights up they have they have tables where everybody can sit down and oh, stuff like that yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. it's, it's like a food truck in, yeah it's all living nice. the yeah. and the yeah. beauty part about this we don't need to go to a, a stranger if you need tables built i have a brother that does that yeah. if you need logo oh, yeah. designing oh, yeah. you got yeah. him that yeah. does that if you need chamoy candy you got a guy that does that <laughs> if, yeah. If, yeah. <laughs> if you need food done we got your dad who gets down on the pit yeah. oh, i got my down brother down. gets down on the pit yeah. he gets like my point is it's like like Javi said, we don't need to go get another guy. We got our guys. Yeah. We just need to ain't act. No, you know no I mean? middleman. No yeah, middleman. Yeah, yeah. Because I ain't gonna lie, when you get a middleman, you never know who you're gonna get. And the worst case scenario, what if you get a, a con artist? And then you know what I'm saying? Some like shady, shady, shady ass shit. You know what I'm saying? So if if you guys to say this is what we're saying is that when you guys think about partner partnership, because a lot of you people think that you might not be able to do things alone. You might want to get a partner here and there and this and that because I know a lot of people out there are talented. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Get somebody that you can trust. You know exactly. how to say, yeah. don't just put your trust in everybody, man, because you really can't trust nobody nowadays. You got to make sure 
that the person that, is, that you partner up with is not gonna fight with you with money because oh, for, yeah. for many people it ruins relations when you fight about money. You gotta be able to mm-hmm. trust and know. Yeah. 50 50 on everything. If it's two yards, if it's four yards, 25, 25, 25, let's get it done. You don't know how much y'all can blow up if y'all work together, man. You mm-hmm. can never know, but that's just my thing, man. Get somebody that you can trust. Just Breathe. don't get anybody that they, oh, I can help you with that. Yeah, but what else can you do? Yeah. yeah. You got to use your talents, man. Remember, get somebody that you can trust. Start slow. Mm-hmm. Don't, don't, you know, you got $100. Okay, start with that and go from there. Start small. You got to yeah. do one t- one step at a time, man. One step at a time. I promise I'm you, perfect you'll get there. Is, you'll get there. Look at Slim Thug, man. When he first started, he was selling mixtapes out of his trunk. Now look at the man. The man's a fucking yeah. artist, yeah. has a mansion. I don't know where. Got, like, but he had a dream. He started selling out of his trunk, out of a caddy, mm-hmm. a beat up caddy. And, Look at him now, man. Like so. Follow his dream. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You gotta stick. I know, like. It's gonna be gonna tough. Be, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be hard. There's gonna shit. be some yeah. rough days where you're like, you're gonna be like, man, fuck this shit. But yeah. you have to always see, like, and you know, like they say, it, tunnel vision. There was a. The goal. There was another one I just uh, read that it was Steve Harvey. Okay. Steve Harvey was living outside of his trunk. Mm. Or outside, outside of his car. His car I'm sorry. Okay. He was living outside of his yeah, car. Yeah, he was waiting yeah. for. He, he had a show coming up and you know his, it was real small it was real small and uh they said that somebody called him he's like hey man somebody just dropped out he's like can you make it here to new york uh we'll put you in and that was like i think of the apollo or something like that he's like i don't have any money man he's like i got five dollars to my name how am i gonna get from there to there there's no way for me to do it he's like and he said that some nights he felt like when he was sleeping in his car he said, "Son, this is it." He's like, "I, I want to sign or something like that, like for me to go home." And he was debating. He's like, "Dude, I'm gonna go home." He's yeah. like, "Nothing, nothing's happening for me." Yeah. And I then understand. he got that call, and then uh, he made it to New York. They got him, and he was the one of the biggest no, uh, biggest uh, uh, celebrities celebrities that night. Everybody, every, every, everybody, everybody got bo- uh, booed. <laughs> everybody, everybody, and he was one of the top ones. Now look at him. Uh, he's Shout out to the Apollo too, man, because they started a lot of careers. Yeah, a lot yeah. Of careers. Mm-hmm. He's known yeah. like one of the top uh, comedians of yeah. all time, man. You know, you that's know? A, that's an underdog story too. You know, rest in peace, Bernie Mac, man. Uh, he is yeah. missed. Oh, yeah. That guy was funny. Yeah, that yeah. Was a Bernie, yeah, yeah. yeah, he was in there too. But uh, yeah. but that was my point yeah, too. That's like, just to show you mm-hmm. kind of start small, man. That's not yeah. about having a million dollars and you got no, you don't gotta have all that, man. You gotta start from the beginning. All these TikTok videos, man, mm-hmm. that are basic, mm-hmm. that just make it laugh because it's true. Mm-hmm. They make it viral, man. Yeah. They make it viral. Yeah. I look at the, I look at the likes, three million likes because this and that, man. It's crazy, man. But everything's out there for you. Mar- Mario can can back me up with that. Everything's yeah. out there for you. You just gotta put your talent to the to the job, man. Mm-hmm. Put it down, yeah, man. You gotta, and uh, yeah, you gotta really advertise out there if you wanna get your name out there, man. You gotta. Put in the work. Yeah. Don't don't get too comfortable with life, man. Uh, yeah. Especially if you're working at a, at a nine to five. Yeah. I know yeah. shit is hard after you get off your job. You want to just chill, yeah. but you gotta find it within you. Like, man, I gotta make this happen. What am I gonna do? Put your ideas down on the notepad. Organize and focus. Mm-hmm. Just focus, man, and yep. you'll see you'll see things uh, start to happen for you. Mm-hmm. Not even that, man. Just imagine how good it's gonna feel after all those sleepless nights you struggling when you make it. You can look back and reflect and be like, I did that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You have a you have a testimony now. You can tell other people, man, I know how it feels to be working a nine to five, coming home and feeling like giving up, but I never did and look where I'm at now. The people that are going through will look at you and be like, Man, this motherfucker's yeah. right. Like, you yeah, know, like yeah. uh-huh. you know, like if he could do it, why can't I do it? Yeah. You will be motivation for someone out there that's doubting himself. Yeah. You know what you I'm give your own testimony, man. Exactly, man. You can give so much motivation to, like, on TikTok, on Instagram. There's YouTube. a lot of social media yeah. now, man. People, it's yeah. easy to get famous now. A lot of people do. They're on there blowing up, yeah. man. Mm-hmm. Just and when didn't have motivation. That, we didn't have that back then. Back right then, yeah. you'd, you'd have to be physically there in order to Action. advertise this stuff. Not no more, man. Yep. You can Thanks. nationwide. I introduce yourself to the world, man, and YouTube, YouTube is there, TikTok mm-hmm. is there, Instagram is there, Facebook is there, 
everything's there, man. Snapchat. We just yeah. Gotta, yeah. We just got to put our souls in the preacher, man, and dream it. Face mm-hmm. it, man. Face it. I mean, life is not all about 9 to 5. Pay to preach and life is more than that. Look at all the people that travel the world, man, because they did what they had to do in order to enjoy themselves. We all want to retire early. We don't want to retire at 69. Oh, I can't even watch no more members. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, man, I, I feel like out of everybody, I'm going to ask because I feel yeah. like he's more knowledgeable. Mm. Tell me if I'm wrong or right, but I read that Jeff Bezos was working at McDonald's when he decided to quit and start, I think, I don't know, Amazon or whatever. He started Tesla one of them two. I'm sorry. Mm. Sorry if I'm wrong. But he started his company. He said, you know, fuck this nine to five. And look at him now. Look He's at one that. of the richest guys in that, the world, man. Yeah, and um, McGregor. Exactly. McGregor, he was working at Amazon. I think he was, he was, I think he was working at Amazon or FedEx. And he says, I guess he wanted to fight. And he just wanted to try it out. And probably by overnight... It? Signed no, to UFC, him. yeah. Look at him. making big bucks, mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. just to get your ass whooped. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> hey, he, that boy's good though. Yeah, ain't gonna He's lay, good. Hey, shout out to McGregor, man. I hate what happened to him with his injury, but he will bounce back and he'll be back. He'll yeah. Be back. He'll be back. yeah, go ahead, Avi. Well, y'all said and done, man. I'm about to end this episode, man. But this was definitely a part two, uh, part mm-hmm. one again. For follow my boy Mario, the links will be in the description of this video. This is episode 17 from my channel, The Great mm-hmm. Room Podcast. For all of you listening, man, stay tuned because you know you guys know you have the talent. Don't be ashamed, don't be afraid, and don't be embarrassed. Everybody goes through situations in life, and you can't nice. feel sorry for yourself. You gotta put your step forward and, and go through, man. Follow through. Mm-hmm. Any closing words that you might, you guys might have? Let me go around uh, the table. Let me start with the boy Ralph. All right. Uh, just like I said, if you guys have any comments, you can leave them on Mario's channel or Javi's channel. What are, What are your goals? What do you want to accomplish? I know you guys don't want to work nine to five the rest of your life, so that's it for mine. So. Oh boy, Henry. Okay. All right. Um, this is just a message to every viewer out there. <clears throat> You'll never know what you're capable of if you never try. So just try, man. Whether you fail or win, at least you'll be satisfied knowing that you tried. Because the day that you doubt yourself and you let doubt win, that's the day you let the devil win. And that's my opinion. I'd uh-huh. like to leave y'all with that's that. That's cool. All right, man. Uh, for my final words, I'd just like to thank everybody uh, for tuning in. Y'all guys leave y'all's feedback. Uh, I really respect these guys. These guys have a lot of ideas and uh what type of businesses they want to get into and i just want to let you guys know that uh you guys also should try to look into something that you're like really passionate about something that you know um motivates you to get out of bed not just your regular nine to five find something that that you feel like it's your calling like your passion project work on that Mm. And uh, that'll motivate you to start your own business or just follow your heart. Yeah, man. And uh, you'll see things start to happen for you. Yep. But uh, that's all I got to say yeah. about that. Y'all take it easy. Y'all stay tuned, man. We'll be back. Peace. Peace.